Hello and welcome back to Prison Architect. And as you can see, the footage before you has been sped up. So that means only one thing. I messed up once again. I'm not too sure how it happened this time though. I made sure all the loves were fine and all the things selected were selected. However, through shuffling various windows on my desktop, I may have, well, I obviously clicked on the uh, mute button and that's unfortunate. But anyways, you know, things happen. We can only hope it doesn't happen in the future, but I guarantee you, I'll do the same thing in the future. It's bound to happen, you know? I've done it a few times in the past, and I'm sure I'll keep on doing it in the future. But anyways, I digress. I just want to take a moment and talk about the various changes I made this episode. The first thing I want to talk about is the cleaning cupboard. I tried to figure out why I was not able to hire people in the cleaning cupboard, but that did not work out. I did not figure out any reason why. It may be because of the game. It could be my grant breaking the game. I'm not too sure, but I checked again if I could hire people in the cleaning cupboard. I wasn't able to. I checked to make sure I had spare inmates to work, and I've, I have enough. I only have 10 working in the laundry and 8 working in the workshop and that's a total of 18. And in the prison I have a grand total of 25 prisoners. So that's not the issue right there. So I was thinking maybe, just maybe, I need to hire a janitor in order to hire people to work in the clean cupboard. So I went ahead and hired the janitor but unfortunately that was not the case when I checked. I was still not able to hire people in the cleaning cupboard, so that's still a mystery to me. I'm not too sure what's going on with it because I do believe in Apricot Prison I was using the cleaning cupboard. Um, I'm trying to think back. I'm not too sure if I was able to or not. And I, I'm not even sure if that was Alpha 10 at the time, but. A uh, piece of my mind is telling me it was, but I could be completely wrong. So I'm not too sure. We're just going to leave the clean cupboard as it is. We'll just leave it. For the second cupboard, I think I'm just going to expand the yard because I did shrink it down for the security room and expanded the uh, workshop. So I think I'm just going to get rid of the uh, second clean cupboard I had planned and just expand the yard. That's a good plan. And other than that, I think that's the one thing that was racking my brain this episode. Other than that, there's not too much else. I did expand the prison. The cells are all finished built now. Uh, I did have a little blunder building the cells for the TV placement. Oh man, that was a headache. I thought I had all the TVs in the right orientation. However, I was clearly wrong as when I went back and looked all the TVs were facing the wall, so the screen was facing the wall. And that was not going to do for me. No. So I just went ahead, dismantled it, and, uh, well, thankfully, the majority of the TVs weren't installed yet, so I could just uh, cancel the install. But one row, so six TVs were installed. I had to just dismantle those, and then just flip it around to the right orientation. And I just took my time and made sure all of that was done correctly because I didn't want to do the same thing over and over again. I'm pretty sure I did something like that in one of my earlier prisons. I installed something and it was the wrong orientation so I dismantled it and went ahead to install it but somehow got it wrong again because I was just trying to rush through it. So you know just gotta take your time sometimes and make sure everything is done correctly. And with the expansion of the prison it's just natural that I would expand the kitchen and canteen. So I put two more tables, four more benches in the canteen. And I installed four cookers and four fridges in the kitchen. Everything's hooked up. And I was debating whether I should add a couple more uh, sinks. But I decided against it. It's not very necessary. So I just left that. We will probably add them later on though. And um... The next biggest thing is the metal detectors. I did go ahead and install all the metal detectors I needed. I may have missed one or two spots. I'm not too sure, but I did a quick rundown of the entire prison and it looked pretty good. And as soon as I started installing the metal detectors, 
bam, bam, bam. Red lights were going off everywhere. So a lot of people had weapons in the prison. Good thing there were no issues. If there was any stabbings or riots or fighting, I think I would have lost my mind. So it's good that nothing major happened and all the prisoners were generally pleased with the way they were treated. The danger level stays low most of the time. It has gone up a few ticks here and there, but that's just because the uh, washroom time was not enabled for uh, the regime in the morning because I had it going from shower directly to uh, breakfast and then it would be free time so I had to put free time right beside the shower so they could just do their business faster and get things done a little uh, I guess in order because sometimes uh, they'll be in the shower and the shower time will run out at least with free time they could stay in the shower as long as they want until the free time runs out and that just gives them time to run back and forth between locations so we have all that done I, I installed the free time for the top part of the regime, so it goes shower, free time, and then eat instead of shower, eat, then free time. So I just changed that up right there. And then after breakfast, I have another slot for free time so they could empty their bowels and, and then go on to the merry way for work. But other than that, I'm not too sure what else I did in this prison. Uh, capacitors was a big thing. I had to go ahead and install a bunch of capacitors because, as you know, the metal detectors uh, require their own sources of uh, energy. So I just had to install a lot of capacitors in order to meet that need. And it was successfully met. Everything was good. No blackouts. It was all good to go. And I think that is about it. Oh, yes. I installed a switch to turn electricity on and off right before the laundry so in the event that a rat breaks out or there's a fight and the laundry machine is busted the developers did say that it would, could cause electrocution so I thought you know it's a good idea to constantly put uh, these fail safes you know in the event that a machine gets broken the wash machine gets broken and it starts electrocuting everyone. I could turn off the electricity and still have power running through the rest of the prison. So that's something I gotta keep in mind and keep on implementing it in future prisons because, you know, I've been lucky with these prisons that no large disasters occur. And by that I mean like fires. You know, we had we had riots here and there, but you know that's bound to occur. But for the minor and normal security, no problems yet. It's only the maximum security where riots constantly break out. I think I just have to optimize my formula for maximum security. I'm just not sure what that balance is. But as we play, I will figure things out. Okay, so I think that's about it. I just want to quickly go over what I want to do next episode. And it's not too much different from the, what I did this episode. Just go ahead and expand the cells again so I could hire, not hire, so I could get more inmates to arrive and, you know, that's going to increase my budget so I could hire more guards, hire more cooks, and everyone else in between. So, we're going to we're gonna expand the prison once again and that's going to be followed by the expansion of showers because each uh, slot of cells which is six per row corresponds with the showers so everything has to be followed accordingly uh, we I think we could keep the canteen the way it is for now and in the episode after the next we'll probably start working on the canteen and kitchen once again get a few more appliances for the kitchen expand the canteen or to fit two more tables and we also have to look at the CCTV monitors. Like I said when I was playing everything, I read that there were six CCTVs per monitor. However, it was mislabeled and it's only three per monitor. So I'm sure a bunch. So we're going to try to figure things out. I think I'm just going to end up adding another monitor per room. I'm not sure if how it's going to be orientated, but... I think that's the only solution that's going to allow me to hire, or not hire, 
add four more uh, monitors per room. So that's something I'm going to be looking at in the future. And other than that, I think everything is fine. Oh, yes. Workshop. We clearly want to expand the workshop so we have more people working. More people working, making uh, license plates, more money in my pockets. And that's just going to allow us to keep on working and make sure everything's flowing smoothly. And for the final episode, like every other... Well, I guess not every other episode, but... For the final episode, we're going to work on the aesthetics of the prison. And that's always something I look forward to. I think my favorite part is the beginning and end where I get to do the blueprint and then where I get to make the final adjustments and make the prison look nice and tidy and everything else in between is fun but I just get the most enjoyment from making the blueprint and then finalizing the final prison so I think that's it for now the video is coming to an end so I'm just gonna say I apologize for this episode for being one too short and also for you know the lack of quality for messing up but you know thanks for understanding and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode thanks for watching and of course as usual I'll see you guys next time